Hi, today's wine I'm trying from Bright Cellars also doesn't have anything beyond their website. Is a Zinfandel from 2019, it's from Lodi. <laughs> if you've heard the song from Credence, Credence Clearwater Revival, Oh Lord, stuck in Lodi again. Then you've heard of Lodi. Um, this one says that it has raspberry and black pepper notes and that it's velvety, uh, it has a velvety texture with silky tannins. It is 4.5% uh, alcohol by volume and pairs well with pork sliders, one pot beef stroganoff and Tuesday night dinners. So it's by Cabin 5. It's in Zinfandel, like I said, Zinfandel. Um, easy to open cork. I had it open for like an hour. And now I'm gonna try it. Tonight I am having pasta with um, chicken, pesto, and feta sausage in an Alfredo sauce. So after I'm done with that. Well, I never turned on my light. <laughs> Whoa, I know, right? It's kind of too much. The thing is, you just, <laughs> I never know how bright it's gonna be. Um, so anyway, here's, I was like, oh, I'm on the ring light. It's, it is pretty thick. And uh, I haven't had a Zinfandel yet, so we're gonna try. I see that my wine glass there's a lot of fingerprints on it already. <laughs> oh, funny. It's funny because now that they said it has black pepper, I can smell it. I had the same experience with root beer. Root beer actually has eight different spices and one of them is licorice, which I do not care for. And now I can taste the ones that have too much licorice. Okay, spicy. Yeah, that's good. So I like it actually because it's more, um, it's not a sweet, sweet. It's not sweet like the Malbec and it's not um, super fruity like that um, Pinot Noir. So um, I think this is gonna be a winner for my dinner tonight. <laughs> because uh, it's gonna go with sausage. Um, I don't have one pot beef stroganoff, but I know reds generally are the ones they like. Hmm, interesting. I would buy this again. I would talk about it on the internet and I would tag them, but they don't have social media. What? I'm, my, <laughs> I'm starting to think that Bright Cellars only distributes wines that have zero social media presence. And I don't get that because people talk about bright sellers and in the description, there's a link if you join, you get $50 off shipping. But also, wouldn't they want people? Now, I don't know this for a fact, but it's weird that so far, so many of the wines that I've had have no social media, not just from bright sellers or very limited social media. I mean, it's at the very least, at the very least, when you set up your business, you should at least claim your social media profiles, even if you don't use it. You could say, refer to this website, you know, here's our Instagram, we're at a Lodi, refer to this website. Here's our Twitter, refer to this website. You know, post once and say, we're not tweeting right now or a Facebook page. It's all indexable by Google and it helps you learn. I mean, you, you type in cabin five and you find like everything from Airbnb to, it just, it's, there's, they have no presence. I had to put, type cabin five wines and then search down in the results to find the actual website, which also isn't on the label, by the way, it's not on the label, but this is what I do like. 
the description, the copy on the back of the Zinfandel is really clever. Uh, not clever like inside joke, but it's well written. So I will give them that. I wish that they had social media presence, but I will read it to you. A remote lake house, a secluded cabin in the woods, the ideal hidden provides an escape away from prying eyes. Make your next getaway with the dark spicy notes of raspberry jam and cracked black pepper in this cabin five Zinfandel. This bourbon girl proves I would buy this. It's a $23, $25 bottle of wine with bright cellars. It was 20. Um, so I'm not really, I feel like I need to stop getting bright cellars because it's not anything you're gonna be able to find on your own at a grocery store or Specs or wherever. But anyway, Cabin 5 2019 Zimdell from Lodi. I would drink it again. Four stars. Bye.